Ricky, well done. Uh, another really big win in what's been a really good season for you so far. Just how pleased you to beat an opponent like Mark Allen. Yeah, I made up. It's, uh, it was a tough game out there today, but um, I stuck in and the result was the most important thing. To beat someone as good as Mark is, is always pleasing. Yeah, do you always feel, even though you've got that sort of 5-1 cushion, even when you're on the verge of victory against someone like Mark, it's, it's never quite sort of, you're never quite over the line. Until yeah, of course, there. he scores so heavily, so you know that if you give him chances, he can, he can bang three frames in. 10 minutes you know he's, he's that good so yeah I was wary of that and I'm, I'm pleased to take that out in the end really I wouldn't have fancied um, carrying on for a few more frames there really so so I was pleased with my final visit. You did a really honest interview with Phil Haig for the Metro recently where you know you were talking about you know, thankfully obviously you're a few years clear of those back problems now but you were talking about you know how dark those times were sort of sleepless nights just thinking about the kind of career situation yeah. you know how, how good does it feel to be here now playing the snooker that you are? Yeah, it's good. It's it's like obviously I've been th I've been through a lot, and um, I'm sure there's people who've been through a lot worse. But f for me, with my career, it was it was a real tricky time, you know, to say the least. And I feel differently about things now. I just I know that I'm not playing exactly how I want, but I'm just appreciating being here and at the venue and and trying my hardest. So I've got a slightly different outlook than I used to, really. And does it make you appreciate even more where you are now and, and the way you're playing that maybe you know six or seven years ago when you were you know, previously right at the top of the sport you maybe wouldn't have appreciated yeah it. absolutely even even in that game there i'm thinking you know what if this goes five five a little bit later then so be it. you know it's no big deal I was, I was just sort of um whereas in the past them kind of games would have just been like stressed out for me and i would have been thinking i have to win now and and that kind of thing for the pressure so yeah, I feel differently now. It's a different journey that I'm on now, trying to get back up the rankings, and but I'm enjoying just just trying my hardest. And you say you think your, your game's maybe not quite where you want it to be, but it's been a, a really good season for you. To, I mean, it, even just to be in this event, it's you know the, the, only the very best in the world get here. But where you know, how close do you think you are to, to you know your form of six or seven years? Yeah, I think I'm really close. As in my game's in in great shape itself. It's more that the feelings that you get in them semi-finals that that they feel like new again. You know where. It's, it's almost like you haven't got that experience from the past. You almost feel, because I've had like a lean spell. So when you get in them situations, it's just about having them feelings and coping with them feelings again. Well, it's an all-time great up next. And Mark Williams, I mean, we all know how good he is, but what, what sort of specific tests does he pose as an opponent? Um, just all around, really. You know, if it goes scrappy, you know that he'll fight. If it's scoring, you know he's one of the best around. His safety's very good. His temperament's great. Uh, it's always a tough test, but to be honest, I enjoy playing him. You know, I've, I've had, I've had some good games against him. I've had some bad games. You know, but it's it's all about me, going out there and doing what I can, and I've got a chance.